What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. In today's video we're taking a look at this. It's the Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film for the Z Fold 4. So let's go ahead, let's get this fitted. However, I will say I'm probably not going to fit the front piece you get with it. As I've already got the Samsung one fitted, which is also a film. There's a good enough reason behind that. So stay tuned to the end of this video to find out why I haven't fitted the front film piece of this because I will tell you at the very end I will fit the inside and the hinge so without any further ado let's jump into the video and let's check out how easy it is to install the Whitestone Dome Gen Film Protector okay so as I said at the start of the video we've got the Whitestone Dome Premium Gen Film Protector you get an inside film protector the outside film protector and a hinge protector as well. So let's get into the unboxing side of things and let's see what you actually get inside it before we make a start on the phone. So let's go ahead, let's take it out of this wrapping. They always stick the inside of these down, so always remember to pry them open, like so. Okay, there we go, there's that one, and there's that. So let's place that over to one side. So you get your inside protector, you get your outside protector and your hinge protector in that part. Let me take all this out. So this piece right here is for removing the one that's already on the inside of the Z Fold. This is to stop this from moving, so you place this down on the surface. This is your bottom piece, your camera lens as you can see goes right here. You've got your installation guide, but we won't be needing that. This part goes actually on side of this, so we'll do that in a sec. White stone dome lens cloth and a wet wipe, so it's inside there. We'll take that out in a sec and then you get your squeegee, so this is where you're going to squeegee the film protector out okay so we've installed the top part now this is where your pieces from the actual protector are going to sit into and that's where it says bottom right here it's going to sit on the bottom part of this it's going to sort of sit on like so and then you're going to basically peel down and prise it onto the phone so what we're going to do is we're going to take the z fold 4 if we open it out still got the original protector on the inside so what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece that you get inside the kit what you're going to do is you're going to place it underneath the original protector what you're going to do is you're going to get it you're going to place it underneath like so and you're going to start prising around the edges to be able to remove the screen protector so just keep going with it okay so we're nearly done so you just start peeling and now the Z Fold 4 is completely unprotected not ideal but not to worry, so you get your camera side and you're going to place it in like so. You're going to take your little tiny bit of material that they've sent you, you're going to peel off the back end and then you're going to line up exactly where you're going to do your install. And you're going to place this down behind the back of it like so. And then when you're installing, so you can turn this around now, and then when you're installing the screen protector, it's not going to go anywhere. It's basically, that's stuck down, so that's not going to go anywhere now. I'm not going to use the wet wipe though, because at the end of the day it's got no fingerprints on it. I'm going to use the dust removal sticker, just to take that little piece of dust off that I can see right there. You're going to take this part right here, that says top, bottom, just on here. You're going to peel off where it says number one. Be careful not to peel too much off. You're going to make sure you don't touch the screen protector. And then you're going to place in the top part, like so, and then place in your bottom piece just like that so now that is completely on there now obviously i'm doing this from behind a camera so you know you're going to do this properly you're going to make sure you get this done right so what you're going to do is you're going to push down with your squeegee and you're going to force it all the way down until you physically can't do it anymore and then just go over it a few different times make sure that screen protector is nice and on there properly a really really simple install if you follow the instructions you really can't go wrong okay now just peel up these bits and what I'd say was best to do as I've done many of these before in the past with Stone Dome is take this part right here go from the middle of the screen and just work your way ensuring all them air bubbles are out completely then no need to remove it just take it round, spin it round so that it's up against the bump stop, like so, and then do the bottom half of your screen. So you're just going to slide up again, 
Als je aan je kan allen hebben, bijvoorbeeld. Want dan vergeet die zeven bubbles, could actually be in the top layer of the protector. So, always that to bear in mind. Fingers crossed, once you've done this, you can go over and do this as many times as you like, just to make sure that it's perfectly down on that screen. Because the last thing you want is for air bubbles to show after you've already folded your screen over. You turn that around, just so you guys can see. You're going to take this bit right here, and you're going to slowly peel it back. Okay, I can see some air bubbles just in the corner right here. So I'm going to take my squeegee. I'm just going to work along and try to force them out. Just force them across to the edge. Go ahead and let's take it out of its little layer that it's been in. So I have got a couple of air bubbles that I'm going to just need to take out. So let me just get the cloth and try and take them out. So talk amongst yourselves, I'll be right. Okay, so there we go. All nice, fully fitted. And you guys are going to have to be the first to witness me folding it, like so. If we reopen it, absolutely fine. Not a single bit of air bubble there. There is one in the corner right here, but if you prise it with your finger, it does come out. But then unfortunately, because you've used your finger, you've then got to give it a wipe over, which is not the best thing to have. I've already got the film one on the front, so I'm not going to fit the white stone dome film one in this video i am going to fit the hinge because i've already fitted the samsung film it's exactly the same film so i've already done, gone ahead and done that if you want to watch that video linked right here but i am going to fit the hinge protector so let's grab that so with the hinge what you're going to do is you're going to sort of fold it out into the shape of a v place it down you're going to give the hinge a quick wiping over no fingerprints no dust and you're going to take your hinge protector you're going to peel up on this blue side right here you're going to peel that, you're going to peel it back, and you're going to take it like so, and you're going to place it perfectly down. A quick wipe, make sure it's on there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to peel, okay, so once you see the blue part, you're going to get your finger, or get this. And you're just going to go along, make sure it's on there, try to keep the phone level, and then put it down, take the other side, do the same for this side. So, then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and close the phone and you're going to go over it and basically give it a good wipe over to make sure that it sits down fully onto that hinge to protect it. Okay, so after the quick wipe over, hinge protection is on there. You can just make out where the lip joins. So it's all nice and on there. I have got one tiny air bubble just in the bottom right here, which I will remove. But there we go. Hinge now protected. I mean, not that you need it, but it's nice to have folding the phone. So everyone, what did you think of how easy it was to fit the Gen Film protector? And now the reason why I haven't fitted it, Whitestone Dome were kind enough to send out the premium screen protector for the front piece. So this is what I'm going to have on the front because it's tempered glass and will aid in making sure that this front piece of the glass stays as well protected as possible. So the hinge is now protected and this inside screen feels a hell of a lot better now to touch, type on, swipe through apps. It feels much, much better. I can't really describe the feeling compared to the original Samsung one, but I can tell you it feels a hell of a lot better than the original Samsung one that was on there. And you can fold it and it doesn't make any bubbles any creases etc i've seen a couple of reviews over on amazon and people have had major major issues with them i can only assume maybe that it's been a defective one or maybe they might have done something wrong because obviously you've seen how easy it is to fit i had a few air bubbles towards the end but i managed to scrape them out because it was just literally you get your thumb and you just push them out and eventually they will come back but you just keep going and eventually it's like the warmth basically just pushing them out to make sure that it sets to the phone. It will take about 24 hours to cure on the glass anyway. When we fit this tempered glass screen protector, obviously I will fit a case 
to show you the front piece and how it sits with the case on. That's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below this video. I'm going to leave it linked in the description down below to where you can pick one up for yourself and obviously use this video as a guide. But thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. As always, drop a like if you liked it, subs if you loved it, turn on those notifications so you don't miss future uploads from this channel just like this. And let me know what you think of the potential new set going forward. It's not going to be a permanent fixture situation, but it is something that we're looking at to make a permanent set, but not here, somewhere else. So let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you all soon. Right. Start it up.